Good morning, everyone. This is Faith from Fire Science Hero. I hope you are well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I'm behind the eight ball again. Um, it is, I have to look and see what the date is, the 29th of April. And I have not posted any first half of May readings yet. I apologize. It has been a rough, weird couple of days. And I've been busting my hump at my bread and butter job. And yesterday was just bleh, energetically, and I had way too much going on. And every time I tried to sit down and read, I would get a phone call, or I would get a knock at the door, or my son would need something. And it was just okay, you know what? The universe is saying not today, just take a day. So we're gonna knock him out here within the next two and a half days, somehow, some way, because I would like to have these all up and posted by. Saturday night, if that's possible. Let's see what happens. Anywho, we're mixing it up a little bit. Taurus is still going to go first because it is Taurus season, and that is my birthday gift to you. Aries is still going to go last because, well, you know, everybody has to take their turn going last, too. So, the ten signs in between, not going to go around the zodiac pool this time. Okay. That being said, I'm going to shut my pie hole and get some cards on the table. Okay. This reading will be for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you with the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I just read cards. If it does not resonate, that is okay. It is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with every Taurus. Check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign readings as they come out. They may resonate better than your sun sign reading. Also, keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa. May play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And you guys are welcome here too. Come on and have a seat. I appreciate you. Sorry. Text from a buddy who was up way too early. Anyway, Taurus, I'm going to get your cards on the table. I have to keep the phone on in case it's work because that was part of the drama yesterday. Ah! Everybody panic! Well, it is what it is. I try not to have a panic button about work-related issues on my day off from my bread and butter job, but it still gets my fur up. You know what I'm saying? Taurus, why are you here? Star card in the reverse could be disconnecting from an Aquarius. My cheater board is somewhere in a box, so I'm going to say Aquarius. Could be disconnecting... From Aquarius, uh, it could be something as simple as a healing not taking place or being unable to kickstart. Not getting what you wanted. And... Okay, well, see what it resonates with. Taurus, how do you feel about the person you're dealing with? The Justice card popped up. They could be a Libra. Those are both air signs, by the way. Just throwing that out there. You feel like they're balanced, just, fair. Okay. What do you think of them? Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Hmm. You feel like they may have some unfinished business. Or you think you have unfinished business with them. Okay. What do you want from them? Ten of Swords in the upright. That makes more sense. You want... You want the darkness to end. You want the sun to shine again. You want this painful cycle to end. It could be a painful cycle you have with this person. Or it could be a painful cycle of theirs. 
you could want something to end for them. Okay. Well, it already said a healing hasn't taken place yet, so that's starting to intertwine a little bit. How do they feel about you? Princess of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race. I'm hearing slow and steady wins the race. You might feel like they're moving a little bit too slowly, but... That little pentacle they're holding, it's solid, it's stable. But it's slow. Slow is good. Slow is okay. Slow makes sense. Especially right now. And yes, the Sagittarian just said that slow makes sense. I'm still drinking coffee, guys. It's still very early in the morning, so just let it go. What do they think of you? Princess of Cups reversed. You may f They may think you're a little bit emotionally closed off. You're not sending the messages. You're not all about that lovey-dovey jazz. They may even think you're emotionally closed off. What do they want from you? Prince of Cups reversed. throw a clarifier on that, but this is starting to make sense for me now. You want a painful cycle to end. They want you to talk. You're not being communicative. What's the challenge here? Six of Wands reverse. Someone has a lack of confidence. Okay. What can be done? Four of Wands. Okay. Laying a foundation. Opening a door. Actually coming together, actually acknowledging a connection. Four of Wands represents it's the eleven eleven, it's wish fulfillment, it's the soulmate twin flame card. If you believe in that sort of thing, I have issues with that sort of thing, I'm not gonna lie. Anybody's my twin flame, it's my domestic partner, and that's a hard pill for me to swallow. Just saying. But we're not talking about me. What's the outcome? The Hierophant. Blessed union. But somebody's gotta get over the crap. This is like a running theme here. It's a running theme, guys. Somebody has a lack of confidence because they're not over something. What are we going to clarify with today? Uh, I'll clarify with this one. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity on a few of the cards in the table for Taurus today, please? Just, just need to clear up a couple of things to make sure my perception is in line with what the cards are trying to say.
why is the princess of cups reversed here shadow side popped out you are emotionally closed off because you have a connection somewhere else you can't shake Why is the Wheel of Fortune reversed here? Justice in the upright. Something I left hanging out there. Leveling the playing field, undoing wrongs, exacting justice. This is where it getting all vice versa and all wonky. Messes with me a little bit. Long story short. Somebody's lack of confidence could well be their undoing, but the story's not over yet. wands popped out. Somebody needs to let go of something and move forward. Somebody needs to pick a path. Two of wands is in the upright. So they're not totally in the land of indecision. In a broke down car. Wondering which way they should hitchhike. So we're good there. Why is the Prince of Cups up reversed here? Hey, where'd you go? Okay, you went flying. I saw you go flying. There you are. Moon they want you to let it all out. They want all the unknowns to be brought to the surface. They want you to stop being so emotionally closed off. Why is the Six of Wands reversed here? Thanks. Hangman in the reverse. The challenge here, someone has a lack of self-confidence and they're still emotionally stuck on something else. They're still connected to something else. They need to let it all out. They need to allow a cycle to end. Why is the Four of Wands here for what can be done? The lovers reversed. There's a door opening here. Wide open. It's right there. Don't don't let the past hold you back. Don't let something shackle you that shouldn't be continuing to shackle you. Don't shackle yourself to the past. Don't allow yourself to have a lack of self-confidence because the relationship didn't work out in the past. Move forward. Let go. You're not handcuffed to that rod. You can let it go and walk away. So now you perceive it. 
to a choice to no longer feed a connection. The connection's there. You're probably soulmates with this person. If they really screwed you up, If they changed you, if they changed how you see life, if they helped you grow as a person, that's a powerful soulmate connection. Even if it didn't work out. You need to let it go. Because there's something, there's a door opening for you. There's a beautiful freaking door opening for you. Hello? This is the blessed union card. But you gotta let yourself heal. You gotta let the sun shine again. You're the only one with the power to do this, Taurus. Nobody can do it for you. The person on the other side of this is waiting on the other side of an open door for you. That door ain't gonna stay open long. But do what you're gonna do with it. I'm not gonna twist your arm. You want to stay shackled to something that no longer serves you. That still rips your soul out a little bit more every day. Go for it. I mean, I'm not going to tell you how to live. I'm going to tell you how to live. It's not. I love you. I'm not going to preach to you. It's not my job. It's too early in the morning for that. Your advice. Okay. Prince of Swords, the Three of Wands reversed. Don't wait for communication. If you're going to say something, just open your mouth. The Seven of Pentacles and the Princess of Wands reversed. Okay. Remember a little bit earlier when I said slow and steady wins the race? Yeah. Because this isn't a race. And if you're the person dealing with the person, and things are all vice versa, and you're the person dealing with the person who's having a hard time letting go, you gotta be patient. If you have patience with yourself, you have to have patience with the universe. And just kind of let off the gas pedal a little bit before you start spinning your wheels. Okay, let's. Oh my god, too early in the morning to be blowing my phone up. Seriously? Four of Swords and the Queen of Cups. Okay, that this totally, totally reiterates what I was just saying. Rest, chill, meditate on your thoughts. You've been through. You've been through some heartbreak. The other person's been through some heartbreak. The four of swords comes after the three. That's the processing the broken heart part. Don't emotionally close yourself off. Allow that process to continue because that process is important to spiritual growth and emotional growth. Because if you can honestly say you have never suffered from a broken heart, bless you. That's amazing. Because I lost count years ago. Just saying. But love yourself first. Love yourself enough to give yourself that time. Don't go rushing in. Alright, Taurus, this has been your reading. Love you bits. Thanks for coming by. And... After this little stint of a couple of days of just boom, 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 hammering out readings, I'm probably going to have to take like a little bit of a rest period next week. 
Um, I will still do the work week top and bottom and the weekend top and bottom and things of that nature. And I might do like a Marseille all signs special on one of my days off, but I need to get some stuff done in my house because it's like, ah, I can't find anything. I was so excited yesterday. I found a sweater that I hadn't seen in three months and it's okay. <laughs> That was lingering in a laundry basket in a corner that I totally forgot about that got covered up by blankets and furniture. Anywho, I'm going to shut up and stop giving you unimportant details of my life. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Catch you soon.